grace. When everything else is gone, when you have left your earthly life, all the possessions you thought you needed, when all the work is done, love is what's left. I know this because it is love I still feel. I can feel how much I am still loved, even though it is 30 years since I passed. 30 years, can you believe that? It feels like only a month or two. There is no concept of time here, no rushing about, no drama, no anger, no pain, no chaos, no resentment, no fear, just love. How can that be, I hear you ask. Well, those very negative feelings are reactions to intense emotion, perceived injustice and frustrated ambition. And I don't mean ambition as in a career. I mean the thwarted ambition of those who want their own way, of selfish ideals. Those feelings no longer exist for me, and what's more, I now realise how futile they are and how damaging to a fragile soul. Yet when in physical form, these emotions drive us. They fuel even more aggression, frustration and pain, yet there is nothing to gain from them but more and more pain. The most valuable lesson I know I have learned from life is that we allow ourselves to feel and indulge ourselves in these base emotions. We allow it. We choose to feel that way. What madness is that? We indulge ourselves in what we believe to be righteous anger. We fuel it by getting others to feel for us and then we rationalise our, at times, outrageous behaviour toward the person we believe caused us to feel this way. Madness. That way is a downward spiral into more anger and then at the bottom of the pit we are hurling ourselves into is depression. Or what? We say he or she deserved it, they had it coming, it was all their fault, I'm not happy, or I deserve to be richer, have a better car, lifestyle. According to who? You? Are you blameless? Did something you said or do start the landslide? Has the needle dropped off your moral compass? So what if the other person's standard of behaviour is not the same as yours? If they are acting or making a decision based on their moral code, so what? Okay, some people choose to have no morals when making decisions. You can't do anything about that, so why let it bother you? And the moral code you later have in life is often vastly different from the one you had in your youth. We learn as we grow. That is the beauty of age. You have to be able to look at yourself in the mornings and know if you are doing your best to be a good person. It's not difficult. You know if you're trying to manipulate a person or situation in your favour because you feel you have something to gain. But you see, we see it too. We see it and we cringe for you. We cringe because we have already been there. We know what works and what doesn't. We know what holds you back and what propels you forward both in life and in your spiritual development. We see you plotting and working yourself up into a lather of frenzied indignation at some real or perceived slight. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Try to be less inclined to willfulness and manipulation. Therein lies only pain. Be open to change, not afraid. Just open to change. Move with the tides in your life. Be less inclined to anger. Accept with good grace that your way is not everyone's way. Be kind. Before you react to anything, think to yourself, do I really care? 
you will be surprised to hear your inner voice reply that, no, actually, you don't. There is a power in that reply. On the other hand, every loving thought or deed, every kindness without expecting reward is noted. Likewise, every selfish or manipulative greed, unwarranted anger or pain that you deliberately cause another is noted. I say this to you not to preach, but because I have learned the hard way and see it now as a kindness to come to you in this way, a word to the wise, if you like, to enable you to ease up on the striving ahead, no matter what, because everything in your life will always ever be as it is meant to be because of your choices. That's it, your choices. When you take personal responsibility for your choices, everything changes, everything. And then your life will be the life that you wanted it to be. And you will draw to yourself everything that you have ever truly wanted. That's it. Take responsibility, personal responsibility for the outcome of your choices. <laughs>